Today, I'm going to show you something that will blow your mind. A brand new Chinese AI just dropped and it might have killed Google's Veo3. I'm talking about Kling 2.5 Turbo, and this thing is fast, cheap, and creates videos that look insane. I tested both of these side by side with the exact same prompts. The results shocked me. One of these tools is three times faster and costs way less money. But which one actually makes better videos? Stay until the end because I'm going to reveal the winner and show you exactly how to use the best one for free. Look, I've been testing AI video tools for months. Most of them are garbage. They're slow, expensive, and the videos look fake. But these two tools are different. Google's Veo3 has been the king for months. It makes realistic videos with native audio. But now this new Chinese tool called Kling 2.5 Turbo is claiming to be faster and cheaper. I use the same prompts, same settings, everything. But what I found will change how you think about AI video forever. One tool completely dominated in speed and cost, but the other tool won in quality and realism. Which one should you actually use? That's what we're going to figure out right now. Okay. First, let me show you what these tools can actually do. I'm going to play you two clips. One is from Clink 2.5 Turbo. One is from Google Veo3. Try to guess which is which. Here's the first clip. Now here's the second clip, same exact prompt. Notice anything different? The colors are more vibrant. The motion is smoother, but which tool made which video? I'll reveal the answer in a few minutes, but first let me tell you about these two tools and why this matters to you. Google's Veo3 came out a few months ago. It's Google's best AI video tool. It connects to their Gemini API. You can make four to eight second clips. It does 720p and 1080p portrait and landscape. And here's the crazy part. It makes native audio. That means sound effects, music, dialogue, everything built in. Google integrated VO3 into YouTube Shorts, so you can make AI videos right inside YouTube. That's huge for content creators. But there's a catch. VO3 is slow and it's not cheap. Plus, there are safety concerns because it can make really convincing deep fakes. Now, let's talk about Kling 2.5 Turbo. This is the new kid on the block. It's made by a Chinese company, and they're claiming some wild things. They say it's way faster than the old Kling models. Better prompt following, stronger camera control, and cheaper too. Kling 2.5 Turbo supports text to video and image to video. You can use prompts up to 2,500 characters, that's huge. Most tools limit you to a few hundred characters. It has negative prompts, so you can tell it what not to include. And it works on third-party platforms like FAL.ai. But here's what I wanted to know. Which tool actually makes better videos? Which one follows prompts better? Which one is faster and cheaper? And most importantly, which one should you use for your business? So I designed a test. I created three different prompts. Each one tests something different, an action scene to test motion and camera work, a close-up portrait to test emotions and details, and a dialogue scene to test character interaction and audio. Before I show you the results, I want to tell you about something that can change your business forever. It's called the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where successful entrepreneurs go to scale their businesses. With AI, you get access to the latest AI tools, automation workflows, and strategies that are making people thousands of dollars every month. The link is in the description. Now let's get back to the test. Here's my first test prompt. Wide cinematic chase through neon city at night, close low angle of a motorbike jump over a bridge, camera quick handheld pushing, 24 frames per second, dramatic motion blur, add matching engine roar and city ambience, I ran this exact prompt on both tools. Same settings, same everything. Here's what happened. Kling 2.5 Turbo generated this clip in seven seconds. Look at this. The camera movement is smooth. The motion blur looks realistic. The lighting is dramatic. The motorbike jump looks believable, but there's no native audio. The tool doesn't make sound automatically. Google Veo3 took 22 seconds to generate this clip, more than three times longer. But look at the result. The physics look more realistic. The lighting is more natural and it has native audio. You can hear the engine roar and city sounds. That's built right in. Which one looks better to you? Comment below and let me know. Now let's test close-up portraits. This is where most AI tools fail. Faces are hard, emotions are harder. Here's my prompt. Close portrait of an older woman in soft golden light. Subtle tear rolls down her left cheek. Camera slow, three second push to 50 millimeter tight framed headshot. No text, ambient piano. Clink 2.5. Turbo made this in nine seconds. 
The facial details are good. The tear looks real. The camera movement is smooth. The lighting is warm and natural. But again, no native audio. You'd have to add the piano music yourself. VO3 took 28 seconds for this one, but look at the result. The skin texture is incredible. The emotion in her eyes is powerful and you can hear the ambient piano music. It's all generated automatically. Both tools did well here, but they each have strengths and weaknesses. Now for the hardest test, dialogue. This is where most AI tools completely fail. Making two characters talk and look natural is extremely difficult. Here's my prompt. Two friends argue at a bus stop about a lost letter. Short natural lines, you took it, no I didn't. Camera over the shoulder, reverse shot, include muffled city audio and footsteps. Kling 2.5, Kling 2.5 Turbo actually created a great video. This looks like a scene straight out of a movie. Real emotions, the characters look perfect, but the dialogue doesn't sync well with their mouths and there's no audio at all. VO3 took 35 seconds. The dialogue syncs with their lips. The camera work is professional. The body language looks natural and you can hear the city sounds and footsteps. This is impressive, but I think Kling produces a better video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment below. So what did I learn from these tests? Let me break it down for you. Speed, Kling 2.5, turbo wins by a lot. It's three times faster than VO3. If you need videos quickly, Kling is better. Cost, Kling 2.5, turbo is cheaper per second of video. Way cheaper. If you're making lots of videos, this matters. Prompt following. Both tools are good, but different. Kling follows camera instructions better. VO3 handles complex scenes better. Audio, VO3 destroys Kling here. Native audio is a game changer. You don't need to add sound effects or music. Realism, VO3 looks more realistic overall. Better physics, more natural lighting, smoother character movements, ease of use. Kling is available on more platforms. VO3 requires API access or YouTube shorts. So which tool wins? It depends on what you need. If you want fast, cheap videos for social media content, Kling 2.5 Turbo is better. It's perfect for creating lots of short clips quickly. The quality is good enough for most uses and the cost savings are huge if you're making dozens of videos. If you want the highest quality videos with professional audio, VO3 is better. It's perfect for important projects where quality matters more than speed. The native audio alone makes it worth using. But here's the secret. You don't have to choose just one. I use both tools for different things. Kling for quick social media clips. VO3 for important business videos. Now let me show you how to get started with both tools for free. For Kling 2.5 Turbo, go to fal.ai. You can test the tool with free credits. The interface is simple. Type your prompt, adjust the settings, and hit generate. You'll have your video in seconds. For VO3, you have a few options. You can use it in YouTube Shorts if you have access or try try vo3.ai for free testing. There are also third party sites that give you free credits to test it out. Here are my top tips for getting better results with both tools. First, be specific with your prompts. Don't just say make a video of a car, say red sports car driving down mountain road at sunset, camera following from behind, dramatic lighting, 24 frames per second. Second, use camera language. Both tools understand film terms, say things like close up, wide shot, dolly in, handheld overhead shot. This helps a lot. Third, describe the lighting. Golden hour, harsh shadows, soft studio lighting, neon lights. Lighting makes or breaks your video. Fourth for Kling, use negative prompts. Tell it what you don't want, no text, no watermarks, no blurry faces. This improves quality. Fifth for VO3, let it handle the audio. Don't specify too much about sound. Let the AI decide what sounds right. Sixth, keep your prompts under the character limit. Kling allows 2,500 characters. Use all of it if you need to be specific. Seventh, test multiple variations. AI is random, run the same prompt three times, pick the best result. Now I want to address the elephant in the room, safety and ethics. Both these tools can create convincing fake videos. VO3 has watermarks to help identify AI content. Both platforms have rules against harmful content. Don't use these tools to create fake news, deep fakes of real people or misleading content. Use them for creative projects, marketing, education, and entertainment. Be responsible. Let me also mention that both tools have terms of service for commercial use. Read them carefully if you plan to make money with these videos. Here's my final verdict after extensive testing. Kling 2.5 Turbo is a serious challenger. It's fast, cheap, and has excellent prompt following. The camera controls are amazing. For content creators who need lots of videos quickly, this could be perfect. VO3 still leads in overall quality, 
the physics are more realistic, the native audio is incredible. For professional projects where quality matters most, VO3 is still king. The real winner depends on your needs, speed and cost, versus quality and audio. Both tools are incredible, and we're living in the future of video creation. But here's what excites me most. This is just the beginning. AI video tools are improving every month. Soon we'll have tools that are fast, cheap, high quality, and have perfect audio. We're maybe six months away from that reality. If you want to stay ahead of the curve and learn how to make money with AI tools like these, you need to join my AI Money Lab. This is where I share the latest AI tools, strategies, and case studies. Inside, you'll get 50 plus free AI tools and 200 plus chat GPT SEO prompts. You'll learn how to make money with AI agents, get access to 1000 plus free workflows. I'll give you a full blueprint to generate thousands of leads for free with AI. You also get access to our free AI community, free AI course, and proven AI case studies. The link is in the description. Here's what I want you to do right now. First, try both tools yourself. Use the prompts I shared in this video. See which one works better for your needs. Second, comment below and tell me which tool you think won. I read every comment. Third, join my AI Profit Boardroom. This is where serious entrepreneurs go to scale with AI. We have weekly calls, done for you templates, and a community of people actually making money with AI. Members are automating everything from customer service to content creation. They're using AI agents to handle sales calls, they're building AI-powered websites that convert like crazy. If you want to take your business to the next level with AI, that's where you need to be. The link is in the description.